Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today I have a fairy tale Disney unboxing for you because I still have this uh, Beauty and the Beast box to unbox. And as you guys can see, it's a chunky one because the lid almost pops off, so there are a lot of items hiding in here. But before we discover those, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. My name is Megan. If you like things that have to do with Disney, with books, with writing, with fantasy, with Marvel, with Star Wars, with uh, Harry Potter, with anything geeky really, with witchcraft, with magic, all this sort of stuff, you're in the right place. Make sure to click on the magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell because on that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, I think uh, we waited long enough. Time to discover this tale as old as time. <laughs> So I have to say, this box is actually uh, still a box from the old Magical Suitcase. Uh, what I mean with that? Magical Suitcase is a company uh, based in Poland that used to be run by uh, two women, being Polina and Daria. Um, but because of the Brexit and because of Covid um, and because they uh, live quite a distance from each other, they uh, decided a few months ago uh, that it was better to kind of split the business. Um, Paulina continued under the name Magical Suitcase, um, but for the moment it are only Polish boxes because, as I said with Brexit, um, the uh, deliveries of English um, books and such are really, really difficult. And also uh, the price spiked up, so she decided to just focus on Polish um, boxes. Uh, luckily she is kind enough to for uh, to make an English box from time to time for me, so thank you very much for that, Polina. Um, Daria, on the other hand, uh, she continued um, under the name uh, Magic Witch House, um, where she uh, also does fandom boxes, but the thing, however, is uh, where the difference is between the new Magical Suitcase and uh, Magic Wish House is that both do fandom boxes um, and also like witchy boxes. But uh, Paulina with Magical Suitcase makes more like boxes, which means that there is also a book inside uh, the box among the items. While uh, Daria with Magic Witch House uh, usually only focuses on uh, items. Uh, so that's a bit the difference between uh, those two companies. But as I said, this is still a box from um, the old Magical Suitcase when they were still working together. Um, and this is actually um, one of the boxes that they did. Um, so uh, in here is going to be a stunning illustrated version of Beauty and the Beast by Mina Lima. Um, also, fun fact, Mina Lima is, uh, Mina Lima is mostly known as... Um, the people behind all the graphic design when it came to Harry Potter. Um, they um, released, like, they are now busy with, like, I have one in the back, uh, with um, bringing all the Harry Potter books back on the market, also in an illustrated version by Nina Lima. But for the movies, uh, they did all sorts of props also, like all the packaging from um, Honey Dukes, uh, covers from the books that they used uh, at Hogwarts, stuff like that. So that's all Mina Lima's work. So I'm really curious to see uh, what they did with Beauty and the Beast because it's my favorite fairy tale. So uh, yeah, enough talking, time for a sneak peek. So we have our chunky box with a beautiful label on it. And when we open it, we see a bit of tissue paper, something with Chip and Mrs. Potts, and underneath all sorts of items. So yeah, um, Let's dive right into it with uh, the item on top, which is this one with, uh, yeah, it's a pillow with uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip on it. I'm going to get it out of the crinkly crinkly paper if I find where I can open it. Or I just pull it open. I can do that too. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so it's, it's, it's actually like, I don't know if you guys can see it well, but it's like a sequence cover, a uh, pillow cover on top. And you can like, do it like this. No, so, like, so it's a bit harder. So you can brush. 
um, the uh, sequences upwards and then it just becomes a plain gold but uh, if you brush them down the image of Mrs. Pot and Chip appears oh I love this one um, I'm not a huge uh, fan of gold so uh, but I am a huge Mrs. Potts and Chip um, fan so yeah I'm pretty sure this will be um, the image that will be shown most um, this is actually more of a decorative pillow because oh okay the sequences don't hurt that much but still it's not that comfortable to lay on so uh, yeah it's a nice decorative pillow for uh, in your reading chair or uh, on your like decorative sofa or something so yeah I really really like this one great start to the box I'm going to put you right here on top of the plastic so underneath the pillow and the red tissue paper are some other things let's see let's go for one of the boxes we have in this box and I can already see that it's probably a mug between the wiggly worms and let's go yes it's a mug oh this one is cute so it's a white mug with um, watercolor figures and we can see like plumets and a uh, lumiere we see again uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip we see What's his name again? I always forget his name. The clock. The clock. What's his name again in, in English? Coxford. That was it. Uh, in Dutch he has another name. Um, and then we also have uh, Be Our Guest on uh, the bottom, which of course is Lumiere's famous song. Um, and again, on the side we also have magical suitcase so yeah it's not the most colorful mug though i love the print um i have a lot of mugs now because they usually come in the magical suitcase boxes um but i don't mind because i use them not only to drink out of but also you know to store my pants and pencils and yeah that sort of stuff so yeah really nice mug I'm going to put you aside so that I don't spill all the wormies. Then what else do we have? We have of course our tea. Um, magical suitcase usually includes tea and if I'm not mistaking the new magical suitcase as a magic witch house also always includes tea usually that they handpicked themselves. So this tea is called Garden of the Beast, but it's not loose tea, it's like these little balls. And if I'm not mistaken, as you guys may know by now, I'm not a tea drinker, but I know a bit about it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, if you um, drop like um, one of these balls uh, inside of your um, cup with yeah hot water, usually it's like, don't think it has to be boiling water, but like just on the edge that it, it doesn't boil. Um, these are actually like blooming tea, I think it's called, so that um, when it comes in contact with warm water, um, the ball actually like folds open like a flower. So uh, yeah, but as I said, I'm not a tea drinker. Uh, my cousins are, so I'm going to uh, yeah gift this to them, and uh, I'll ask if they like film or at least let me know how this thing works because I'm quite curious and intrigued by this but yeah this is their tea then we have another box quite a light one so what are you usually they include like in these boxes either a mug or a candle we already had the mug and this is way too light to be a candle so I'm really really curious Aww. it's simple and maybe even stupid to some but um when you think of beauty and the beast you think of course about the gorgeous library but you also think about the enchanted rose so we have an enchanted rose of course it's a fake rose um oh it's so cute um it's a nice like decorative piece that you can add to your bookshelves you can add it in like these these gloss bells I think bell jars they're called like 
no, with ones like this. Um, this actually reminds me of um, a, one of my uh, birthday presents that I got last year. Um, I'll try to add it maybe into the video with this one, the close-up. Um, because um, there, I, then I got like the Enchanted Rose underneath a plastic bell jar. Um, but it's actually a lamp, so uh, I still have to charge it. Um, but yeah, that one is also one of my favorite things. And this one reminds me about, uh, of it, so yeah, really, really nice. Um, and yeah, roses are also my favorite flower, so you can't go wrong with that. And again, it will look nice on your bookshelves or as a decoration piece. Then we have something fabric. Inside another layer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's not a t-shirt, because usually they include a t-shirt. It's a sweater. A white sweater with... Oh, look how cute! It's like... Uh, it's the scene where Beauty and the Beast, well, Belle and the Beast, um, are dancing in uh, the big ballroom. Oh, I love it! Now, I have to say I'm not a huge fan of a white sweater uh, because I have five pets, being three dogs, two cats. So uh, white often gets dirty real quick, but because this is like a gorgeous one with, of course, my favorite fairy tale on it with Belle and with the Beast. I can live with it. I can live with it. Uh, I think this is even because that, that's also the, the weird thing, maybe, to some. Um, this is, I think, the first wearable that I have with something of Beauty and the Beast. So, uh, yeah, really, really like this one. Even though it's a white one. Uh, what else do we have? We have another box and this one does feel heavier so I guess this one will be the candle. Uh, let's see, indeed it is the candle. Um, candles by Magical Suitcase, even now with the new Magical Suitcase and Magic Witch House are uh, all handmade. Um, and this one is called Bella, which is basically Bell but in Polish I guess. And we have again gorgeous details like we have the enchanted rose and we have a little bell at the side in front of the castle and when we open it ooh, we have again a wooden wick uh, that causes that it crackles when you burn and uh, red glitter and it should uh, smell like roses garden and vanilla <sighs> To me, it kind of smells like a strawberry cake for some reason. Oh no, there, there, there comes the, there comes the roses. Yes, ah, oh, it really smells nice. Ah, oh, yes, one of my favorite scents ever. Again, roses. I love roses. So, um, yeah, and this one will again look beautiful underneath my candle carousel when I burn it one day. There we go. Uh, we still have one item left before we go to the star of the box. Um, we have this, which is not really a book, but more like, you know, one of these notepads-like thingies. Um, the front is in Polish, but I know this doesn't matter because it is basically a coloring book. So, um, of course, the first page is again in Polish. But all the other things are drawings um, from the live action movie with Emma Watson as Belle. So uh, yeah, really, really cool. Uh, I love these one with the roses and the feathers. There are also feathers and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, really fun. Ooh, look at this one. <laughs> as I said, I normally don't use like this adult coloring things, but I found that it's actually quite relaxing from time to time. Um, so yeah, I uh, always keep these around because I already also got ones like from uh, Harry Potter and from Fantastic Beasts and I think even from Lord of the Rings? I don't know, for Star Wars. 
one of those either. So, uh, oh, from Disney Films, I got one too. So uh, yeah, I have uh, quite a stack now. So uh, now I only have to find the time to color, which won't be soon, I'm afraid, because I have a lot on my mind and on my hands. Um, but then, as I said, we come to the star of the box. Um, I'm going to take off the, if I find my scissors, there they are. Um, I'm going to get the um, plastic off because otherwise you guys can't see it well. And of course the magic of uh, Mina Lima's art is also on the inside. Um, because Mina Lima doesn't just do ordinary illustrations. Oh no. They do interactive illustrations. So I'm going to put it aside. Oh, it's a bit damaged on the corners, but honestly, I don't mind that much because it makes it look a bit older. Um, so this is the front. We have also the side and then the back with the synopsis. Uh, the beautiful end papers, but as I said, the magic is inside the um, inside because you have things like this, and when you basically you can pull it open, and then you have like an entire castle uh, with lots of rooms. Um, let's see if I can find a better one to show you because this one is quite difficult to show. Uh, there are also like these papers and cardboards in it to protect everything. Um, the moving parts at least. So here you have for example the lavish never-ending wardrobe with like this spinning wheel so that the dress um, yeah, changes and also here uh, the image between uh, Belle's hands change so I think those are like the colors yeah you have like a red diamond and you get a red dress and stuff like that um, yeah I always love these Mina Lima ones they are like these ones and the Noble Collection ones are just stunning to get and add to your um, to your uh, bookcases. You also have like gorgeous drawings, of course, in these ones. So uh, yeah, really, really happy with this one. I'm pretty sure I can like keep going. <laughs> In this book for hours upon hours so uh, yeah and as I said it got a little bit damaged along the way which is a bit of a shame but still I'm happy that I got this book um, so yeah that was everything if I'm not mistaken yes um, yeah I find this a really fun box um, as I said this is my favorite fairy tale. Um, for my top three, I'm going to put, of course, the book on number one, though it has been a bit damaged, which is a shame, but um, I can live with it because it is my favorite fairy tale. Um, on number two, I'm going to put my sweater. As I said, white isn't my favorite color to wear, but the print is just gorgeous. And then on number three, I'm going to place the item we started with. The fun uh, sequence pillow with Madame Potts and Chip. Uh, so yeah, that was it for this box. Uh, feel free to let me do know down in the comments what you thought of it. What was your favorite item? What was your least favorite item? What did you think about the Mina Lima version of the book? Just let me know down below. Also down below, but then in uh, the description um, section of the video, I will, uh, well, I can't link 
uh, to the Magical Suitcase website because the English version doesn't exist anymore. Um, but I will link uh, my previous Magical Suitcase unboxing in case you haven't seen that one yet. Um, and you can also find a link to my Instagram and my blog there because as usual there will be lots of pictures um, on my blog with these items. Um, I mean on my Instagram with these items and on my blog there will be eventually a Dutch and English post which is basically this entire unboxing but then written out with pictures. Um, so yeah, all that's left to say then is thank you guys so so much for watching. If you like this video please hey, give it a little thumbs up because it helps me more than you know. And hopefully I see you guys soon for another bookish magical video. Bye!